Good evening, this is Mike Everson with the National Weather Service in Slidell, Louisiana. And gonna do a weather briefing for you the next uh, five to seven days. So um, started on our weather pit, on our uh, our homepage, and I'm kind of zoomed into our watch warning map, and mainly because we're gonna start talking about some of the different things that's coming up. So looking at the, the actual hazards we got going on, the Brighter green is going to be your flood warnings for river flood warnings. Mississippi River coming into uh, Point Coupee and West Felician Parishes. And um, Tangero River and, of course, the Pearl River. So we'll take a look at those those forecasts. Um, the lighter or the uh, more turquoise green, that's going to be a coastal flood watch. It's in effect for the upcoming week. And then uh, if you look offshore, you see that kind of purple color. That's a small craft advisory. So... We've got some windy conditions and uh, things like that. So let's kind of move on. So uh, starting with the rivers, I'm going to kind of highlight. If you look at the top right of the screen, we've got this, um, see the forecast for Mississippi River. So it's, it's well up, getting close to its crest for the, for the time being and then start a slow fall after that. Um, other rivers still in flood. We've got um, Tangero River still in moderate, I'm sorry, minor flooding. It looks like it's already crested. And then uh, Pearl River, though, it's going to be up there for a while, so expect it to stay up there and at least a minor flood. And somewhere around 20, come headed up to 20 feet, stay there for a few days, and start coming down after that. And uh, further south in the Pearl River, it's pretty much the same story. Going to get up to around, it's a peak around 15 feet going into the weekend, and, and stay there through the next week. So... Going on to my next tab I got here, talking about the small craft advisory. So we've got those uh, got easterly winds are going to increase um, during the week, starting tonight. So the, the advisory is just for east of the river for tonight. But then when you look beyond that, excuse me, let me click on this next image here. Um, well, look at I think the advisory goes out at least so it's at least through Tuesday, um, and and. I want to say it re considering going further out or it's already further out. So um, if you're going to be doing anything offshore, expect to have some pretty windy conditions, um, at least 20 knots or more. Gosh, from tonight through going into at least middle of the latter half of next week. All right, next thing I got for you. With those persistent easterly winds, um, that means anything that's the east facing shore, you're going to look at those tides coming up. So... What you're looking at here is just um, you got the the blue colored lines are going to be your normal tide cycle, or your astronomical tide. But then those the lines just in the black and the and the kind of shaded areas that's the forecast and adds into the, the wind into it. So when you get those strong easterly winds, we definitely see some tides above normal. So anywhere, from, especially like on you know Mississippi coast, Shell Beach. Um, you'll still see some higher tides down in Grand Isle, but definitely on those east facing shores, you're looking at probably upwards of two to three feet as you get towards the middle of the week. You see those shaded areas of um, how high some of those values could get. So not looking at necessarily five feet above ground. Just remember, this is just above the normal tide. So um, more likely going to be around at least three feet or so, like in Waveland and Shell Beach and, and stuff like that. So. Um, if you live anywhere near the coastal areas that do that sees um, some type of flooding when you get strong strong easterly winds, um, be on the lookout for this kind of in this upcoming week. And what's kind of driving a lot of this? I'll go through this uh, on the weather predictions webpage. We've um, kind of I've started with the basically the current state where we've got high pressure building from northeast. As we go through time, what you're going to see coming out from the southwestern Gulf of Mexico is going to be an area of low pressure. It's not necessarily coming from there. It's just it's developing. It's an upper low that's going to develop and then surface will eventually de develop. So if you watch, I'm into Tuesday evening. There it is showing up on Wednesday coming northward. So as this Bear Clinic low comes in, you know, we're looking at pretty good potential for some rainfall. Um, but that deepening low is definitely going to strengthen those winds. And that's the big thing that's going to be bringing in the, the um, those higher tides and and uh, small craft conditions. But the the thing with this one, this uh, forecast is you know that exact placement low is really going to determine how much rainfall we get. So when I go to the QPF or you know quantitative, so basically how much rainfall we're getting going into Tuesday, 
Wednesday, you're going to start to see that rainfall coming on, on shore. Basically, more rain if you're closer to the coast and less if you're further inland. But Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, it's getting out of here on Friday. But when you start looking at like those five and the five and seven day rainfall totals, I mean, that's, that's getting pretty, getting up there, four to five inches. And man, I can tell you, that could just be, uh, that, you got to remember, this is aerial forecast. So for a point specific or like a site location, you definitely got some isolated areas of double that. So you could be seeing anywhere from six to eight inches, maybe even more, maybe getting upwards of 10. And, but the, the challenge is exactly where that's going to be. I, I think you're going to see through time that forecast change somewhere. The heavy rain could be a little further east along towards the Florida Panhandle, or it could be a little further west into Southwest Louisiana. So we're kind of right there in that middle area where we should see some rain regardless. And so that's the main focus for the week is that the rainfall, um, coming into basically Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday time frame. So that's all I've got for today. Hope you have a good day. Bye.